we're a specialist hospital. Uh, we only deal with children and we are a tertiary institution, so most of our diseases are very complex and often quite rare. So it takes quite a long time for us to get a transcriptionist to the level of skill necessary for the typing that we have here. Some of the reports in interventional radiology or neuroradiology will use very complex words that aren't used in the rest of the department. So there's a very wide range in the style and length of our reports and the vocabulary used. We could see that the soliton method actually did type what you said and typed it in a timely fashion that you could see what you'd said and you could instantly correct it if necessary and authorise it. So we can report that, turn that report around in a couple of minutes rather than turning it around as a batch in about half an hour. So the speed and ease with which we could do it and the desktop integration were overwhelming advantages for us with the Soliton system added on top of the Philips SpeechMagic system. I would say at least half the reports I do need no corrections at all. It's got it word perfect. I'll read it to check it's word perfect. I'll press authorise and that report is gone, totally finished. If there is an abnormality or a change that needs to happen, the clinician is aware of it earlier. So we hope we've improved patient care by having the report available promptly. We have quite a few radiologists in our department who are from different countries um, and so we have different styles of speech and different accents and they were very anxious that the system wouldn't be able to cope with this and they'd have to invest even more time than native English speakers to get the system to work but actually the system couldn't care less what your voice sounds like it's learning a sound it's matching it to a word and then it's delivering the text and, and it does that very well we were asked to turn it around quite quickly because we got the money at quite short notice. And I went back to our board, it's called our technical delivery board, and said, I can't believe it, fantastic. This is you know, the best bit of money the hospital's probably spent in the last year. Other people there thought, wow, don't often get a reaction like that. Could this work for us? But other departments in the hospital have come to see us working and they've thought it must be possible, it must be possible to roll this out in a different style for the needs that we have. So a business case was put, was put together, went to the board. There were two prime functions for it. One was to increase productivity for the radiologists themselves and the second one was on a patient safety angle. So we've got um, a, a, a radiology system that's pr provided by iSoft, um, a PAC system that's provided by Siemens, and no integration between the two. So when the um, staff are doing their reporting, they have to literally toggle between patients on both the RIS and on the PACs, and they could have different patients up on the same s systems at, different uh, at the same time. And therefore there is a risk that the report that they're doing may be influenced by somebody else's image. There's always a patient safety aspect to anything that we do and it's one of the prime reasons we try to bring systems in. As we, as we bring IT into the, the trust, there, there'll be a number of reasons why we want to do it. Efficiency gains being one of them and also t meeting targets another. So for instance, the, um, the new targets that have been introduced for turnaround times on discharge summaries. Uh, I don't see how that's going to be achieved unless we start bringing in sort of new technologies like speech recognition.